is for Halloween when she and her son Jason go all out. Yes, his name is Jason. This is not all of them. My son has a pickup truck. It was loaded yesterday with dead guys. It's going to be a bummer, man. I was like, I'm going to get all this candy and stuff, but it, I can't. The city engineer for Wyandotte says the roach infestation was discovered on August 12th when police went to do a welfare check and found so many roaches the house was deemed to be unsafe and unfit for occupancy. And when the people began moving their stuff out, the roaches began to march out too. With the roaches just crawling everywhere, right in the broad daylight. Roaches are only going to go as far as where their next meal is. Mark Parton is with Patriot Pest Solutions. If they live in the area, I would just make sure that around the perimeter house, their actual house itself, things are sealed up pretty good. If there's little small gaps to go ahead and seal them. They can also do a preventative barrier type spray around the structure that will also help. And so tomorrow crews from the city of Wyandotte will be able to make entry into the house here to try to figure out the best way to resolve the roach problem. You can go to other streets though, right? Yeah, yeah my dad's going to take me. Because trick or treating will certainly go on as planned throughout the rest of the city. My niece was a taco one year. I mean, when does a kid get to be a taco except on Halloween? In Wyandotte, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.